and welcome back. Today we have Hercules from Marvel versus Wonder Woman from DC. You know, uh, just another member of the DC Trinity. So, uh, let's just get straight into this. Intelligence. Uh, Wonder Woman has enhanced intellect from what I gather. She's kind of like a... How should I say it? I don't want to say she's not like a rip off of Athena, but she's got like some Athena-esque characteristics, so wisdom and knowledge do come in part in that. And she's also a diplomat and she's a leader of the Justice League, right? She's, you know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, leaders of the Justice League. So she does have uh, some amount of knowledge greater than that of Hercules's ta tactics. This is, again, tactics and fighting, actually, this these two are probably amongst the hardest categories to actually go for, or to, to decide. And the only reason I say that is because Wonder Woman is an Amazonian warrior who is, like, literally the best Amazonian warrior, and she's beaten full-fledged gods. So Hercules, in terms of fighting, may, might not be the most advanced she's ever come across. And in terms of tactics, you know, I'll give tactics to Wonder Woman because she is a leader of a team. And I'll give fighting to Hercules. And the only reason I'll give tactics to Wonder Woman is because she leads a team. And she's also a brilliant strategist herself. I said, I said, the, actually, you know what? Come to think of it, the only person who I believe surpasses Wonder Woman in strategy and fighting is Batman, in my opinion. Now, an unpopular opinion, but... If Batman were to be super powered, like to the degree that Wonder Woman is, he, I think he'd be able to beat almost anybody because he knows all martial arts that's pretty much that exist. And his strategy, he's like the best strategist in DC, I think, maybe behind anybody by Deathstroke. So I'd say that puts Wonder Woman above that of Hercules in terms of tactics, but in terms of fighting ability. Uh, let's see. I've already gone over his list of feats. Wonder Woman, I think, has beaten DC's Ares, which is more of an overall power feat than it is a fighting feat. Because, again, if you're facing a God of War, realistically, their capacity for, like, for combat should be the same. They both have they both have knowledge of all tactics and fighting skills and everything from, you know, ancient Greece and Rome to modern day, you know, society and what's uh, existent at that point in time. So, but the only difference between Wonder Woman and Hercules is that I've seen Hercules, I've seen scans of him fight the Thing, and he's easily beaten the Thing. Like, he literally put him into a heel, like, an, what was that, an Achilles heel lock, right? It was actually, and he, you know, he talked about how it was discovered by Achilles, or it was named after Achilles, and he named this one kick move, I, I forgot what it was called, it started with the G. If you know what skin I'm talking about, then you'll know where I'm coming from. But it's like... He can, he regularly employs holds, like wrestling holds, pancreation kind of techniques almost all the time. Warman has, I think, Amazonian fighting, but it doesn't seem to be that vast or broad to the sense that, I don't, I don't know, but that I think it would, that I thought it would have been. But the point is Hercules, I think, is an over, is a slightly skilled fighter, more, more skilled fighter. Uh, strength. This one, I, I said, I actually read some of the vines. People actually th think that Wonder Woman from DC is stronger than Marvel's Hercules because DC's powerhouses are much more stronger than her Marvel's powerhouses. In my opinion, as, and as I've said, as soon as you get to... <sighs> I'm going to be straight along with this. Diana is a in incredibly strong individual, no question. But I think she's stronger than Hercules? No. DC's Hercules? Maybe. But not Marvels. So I'm gonna put Marvel Circles above Wonder Woman in terms of strength. Speed. No question. It's 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 Wonder Woman. I mean, again, she's around Superman level speed, I from what I understand, so that uh, that that's pretty easy and definitive. Durability. Durability, right? So durability, healing, and invulnerability in my opinion. All go to Hercules for one primary reason. He is a full-fledged Olympian deity who can only be killed by incineration or dispersal of molecules. 
to a, a, a vast like distance or whatever. That's it. Wonder Woman can be stabbed, uh, shot. You know, she can. Her she isn't really for someone who's as powerful as she is. She can take a punch, but she can't really take like guns and knives, like things that could really kill a human. So I don't know. I might be wrong on that, but I've seen women been like penetrated by, you know, or been hurt by bullets and knives and all that kind of stuff. So Hercules, not so much. Never really seen that kind of stuff from Hercules. Versatility. Versatility and energy projection go to Wonder Woman, no question. Wonder Woman has the lasso of truth and the tiara, who, which she can throw at and it acts like a batarang, right? So, she has energy production for that, and also that would extend it to versatility as well. So now we're going to the energy, uh, the X Factor. This is actually the hardest category I could have actually looked at, because Wonder Woman has beaten DC's Ares. If any of you know how powerful DC's Ares is, you'll know that she, that realistically, if she could beat Ares, she could beat almost anybody in DC. Because DC's Ares is like pretty much like a Skyfather being. He's more powerful than DC Zeus. That's how powerful DC's Ares is. Right? Um, I know Ares was intentionally killed at some point because he wanted to get into Hades for whatever reason. I guess it was to form an, an alliance and take over Olympus because that's actually something that I think has occurred in mythology. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I compare that to Hercules who's, again, he has beaten gods and he's beaten people more powerful than gods like Sentry. So again, I, I mean, realistically, the most best way to look at it is someone who could beat Ares from DC versus someone who could beat Sentry from Marvel. So, uh, that's a pretty much a toss-up for me. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna give a slight edge to Wonder Woman. Slight edge. It would be, again, with a, a Superman, Wonder Woman, or with the Superman, uh, Hercules kind of fight. And I know that with Superman and Hercules, I gave them, I think, a tie. I think it was a tie, and I think with Black Adam was also maybe a tie. I don't necessarily remember the results. But to, to also to, to support this, Wonder Woman can beat Superman, and she can beat him easily. She's, he, she's beaten Wonder Supergirl or Power Girl relatively easily. So, I think, considering how Wonder Woman is and who Superman is, I'd actually say this is a fairly cons fairly reasonable result. But, anyways, um, uh, that pretty much covers it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and or share. And, uh, I, I think I'm just going to get this out of the way. If you have any criti you know, criticisms, uh, please do so in the comments below. Um, and I would like to learn from your, from your, crit your criticisms, because obviously if you can provide feats that would counter the insight or logic that I presented, I'd obviously appreciate that, right? Because I like to learn about these kind of things. So, um, that's all I ask. And so, uh, I hope you all have a good day and see you in the next one.